welcome. This is Grammy Queen. If you are joining us for the first time, this is the channel where we get excited about love. This is where we ignite that which dwells from within us, that which comes alive, makes us smile, makes us laugh. Hence we say the crimson light is life. So the crimson light is our journey to actualizing selfful love. This is where we are having fun with words and numbers, numerology to be precise. We have been doing a series of um, presentations on numbers one to six. The initial idea was to have them in simple ways that we could just, you know, have bite sizes. But however, it has not gone exactly as intended in this sense but we seem to have explored the depth of each number in a sense of looking at the um, symbol as the written symbol of one, two, X, the figure symbol, and also looking at the written word of that number and, and how it impacts. Um, basically, we see that one does not necessarily equal one in numerical value, one equals seven. Now, in biblical sense, um, which is what we are exploring, all um, words and examples um, from the Bible, the King James Version, to be precise, we have been exploring those areas and seeing that um, perhaps one of the reasons why we have not been able to make much sense out of um, a lot of the content of the scripture um, is Perhaps it's presenting another way of looking at it in the sense of numerology. Of course, I know that there is a series of um, um, people working with numerology um, when it comes to the Bible, but I'm not sure that I have encountered any where the the number, the word number, it has been um, taken into consideration, which is what I am focusing on as well as every other word, of course. Um, now, that is not to say we are just um, making sense of our world only in numbers, although I really believe we are numbers. And of course, we are numbers. We are um, of two eyes. Uh, but in essence, when we look at um, the number one, for instance, if we were to consider ourselves as one entity or just one person, let's say one person, that equals seven. Now that would give us an indication that the number seven is really um, in perfect correlation with the figure one in, this, in that sense that um, we are all of one and the story is God created the heavens and the earth in six days and on the seventh day he rested. So that would make perfect sense that we can explore numbers. Now we don't have all the um, answers. We are exploring. This is a channel where we are exploring numerology in terms of the scriptures and to um, seeing how we can best make sense of what we have learned to empower us to become better expressions and versions of who we truly are. That means we have a vision of where we want to be at. That means we have a perspective of where we've been and where we are at as well. So in the present and where we want to be in the be as being human beings, okay, whether future or now, but in essence, becoming what we are becoming. So this is what we are exploring on this channel. It's all about love, to actualize self full love. So we have done numbers from one to six. Now, um, I would like to just um, have another um, presentation on the number six because we are in essence, as I have said, created on the sixth day and there is so much to six. But I just thought I would have a compilation of words as well, just so that when we encounter those words, we can relate to them in essence to who we are and uh, our being really. Um, just to be able to anchor on them at a deeper level. In case you are new to this channel, this is Mother Eve. Of course, you can um, get more on Mother Eve um, through any of my um, compilations of um, 
of templates to numerology, actualizing self love or templates to numerology, you would come across um, the essence of Mother Eve, how we have um, come to terms of accepting or um, having a resolution with Mother Eve. Okay, of course there was Adam and we know we all of Adam. We know the story that we have learned, but we are looking at the story at another angle. It's like everything else has various layers and various angles, and this is what we are doing. We are exploring the story at another angle. Okay, and in actual fact, this is another um, version or depiction of Mother Eve, that which we are. We are dots. In essence, this is what we are. We have learned, and this is the depiction of the I am, that I am. So you could see this is like an A and this is an M. This is an I. This is the third eye that Mother Eve opened her third eye. And so we learn that Eve ate of the fruit and her eye was open. So this is the eye was open, of course, so open that she felt it was so delicious and it was good for food that she wanted to share with her husband, Adam. So we know the story. Okay, so this was um, part of um, number six that we explored. We found out that there was um, four um, zodiac signs that had six letters. We feel, we feel that everything has um, significance and everything is symbolic in a sense to serving us to becoming better and wiser um, expressions of who we are. I believe that all the resources around us are there to serve us to do that. And so of the 12 zodiac signs, we discovered four of those 12 zodiac signs are of um, six letters. And those six letters, I believe when I did do the numerical value for that, it, I believe it came to um, 24, which is also six. It was very um, amazing how it seemed to have gone all around. And in the same um, essence of that too, that I discovered, yes, um, so that um, it became 24. I've got 24 here, so I'm hoping that I am correct on this. Um, that's the numerical um, values when we did the numerical values. We also did explore um, the number five with um, Libra, Venus, um, and, um, oh, I keep, well, I don't want to sort of emphasize that point, but there were three um, three Aries, of course. So there were Aries, um, Virgo, and um, I've just said it, and Libra. Okay, so they were of five letters. So we see three fives of 15, and there we had six showed up in that category. So in this category of six letters, we see four has showed up. So four sixes are 24. We could say two and four is six, and we see how six still shows up here again. Now, I found a very interesting um a very interesting reflection or, or we could say summary and because everything we have been doing is around the template of sacrifice so I felt of course as we have seen oh well it's very busy we have been busy with the template this here we had um, discovered the word the, but we won't go into this right now. But this is the template that we work with, and each letter has its numerical value. We come with three blocks of so 369, 369, 369. We also use revelation. I love to be able to say, come, revelation, be reflective into what we are saying here. Share, shed your light or share your light on what we are saying. And waters, let it, let it um, be reflective of truth what we are um, discovering and the intuition, of course, intuition, please, of course, be present. Okay, so this is what we are working with. And um, so, as I say, we are dealing with um, sacrifice. And of course, when we speak of sacrifice, we are um, exploring the story of Christ. So, I have done this before, but because we are working on the number six, I thought I would go over this wonderful, um, wonderful truth. 
could we we could say the word truth equals six so why not it is also part of what I am discovering right now and I have been speaking of 24 so the um, and truth actually equals 24 and of course 24 hours of the day that permits us everything that we could want to do, that we could want or do or think or say that permits us that time and space to do that okay so um what i thought i discovered was really um when christ say i am the way now the i am is really as we have covered here I am I am equals five or nine and five is 14 now we know I have been going on about that number 14 and I will I won't stop if it keeps coming up because 14 seem to be reflective not only of Eve it's reflective of Christ and um, that coming from the generations of 14 it's also reflective of the ancient story or mythical story of the God set or not and um, I have to really um, get this right where the God was chopped in 14 pieces and um, and of course one of the pieces will were, um, were thrown in the re was thrown in the river so and hence there was 13 so we see that story correlates very well with the story of Christ with 13 disciples that Christ coming out of the generation of 14. So 14 is really very um, significant here in, in what we are doing. It keeps coming up and we are about truth. So the Bible that we have been given, that we have as a wonderful tool, has seemed to have different layers of truth there therein and so we this is what we are doing we are exploring those truths so let's just do this while we are at it so i am the way because we have done way um which is we have also done the word the the word the which is the second word in the scriptures it happens to be the second word in the scriptures and it has the numerical value of six so this is just here so this is ten eight and two ten and five this is six and um, fifteen one and five equals six we have that but I am just really fascinated with how um, those numbers are showing up showing that if it is the second word it is already saying there is that the 12 you know it's like two sixes there are two when we explore two is duality it's also harmony but it's showing two aspects of whatever is as the word is and um, so which equals 10 so it's so two is really like a depiction of two entities or whatever it is so the the word the word the actually meaning six it's like saying in in us was the beginning or in whatever six is all right so let's not stray too much so christ we are told said i am the way so let's keep the onto here which we already know is six anyway but way way equals this is seven one and five so five and one five and one oh, sorry i'm going this way five and one is six and six and seven is thirteen thirteen so this is way thirteen equals four now 13 has been a number that came up time and time again because 13 actually is that magic number which is 2 which is 4 which is 13 which can be 16 it can be almost anything when we do this when we join it up that is the magic of that bond of course it comes under that third under the number 2 the two column like the second word and that's why it has so much power okay so the way truth we have done truth t-r-u-t-h so we have done truth we have done this several times which equals 24 equals 6 but i will do the numerical value so we get used to doing it 
or knowing how to. Three, two, eight. So eight and two, ten, and three, thirteen, and nine is twenty-two, and two is twenty-four. So we have twenty-four. So I am the way, the truth, and life. Life. L I F E. So we have five, six, nine, three. So if you are new to this, you can always check the new the template, the numerical template, and you can see that each letter has a numerical value, and this is what we work with. Okay. So five and six is eleven, and nine is twenty, and um, three is twenty-three. I get excited with 23 because 23 equals 5, which reflects Mother Eve. It's that when God breathed in man's nostril, they became a living soul. Life seemed to have evolved with that word breathe, which also equals 5. And just to confirm this, let's do breathe, not to deviate from where we're at, but just to highlight the point of, <laughs> of 5. So five, which of course it's five here, and um, eight, two, one, five, nine, two. So I hope you can see this well. Okay, yes. And um, so eight and five is um, 13, and two is um, 15 and one. Yes, 15 and 1, 16, and 5 is 21, and 9 is 30, and 2 is 32. Now, 32 is that, that's why I get excited. 32 here is giving us the mirror image of that which Christ, of course, this is Christ. When we do the numerical value for Christ, and we are talking about sacrifice. So Christ is really being transparent here. And if you remember that we call into intuition, we call into onto waters to be transparent, to shed light on what we are saying, what we are exploring, because that's why, how we are operating here. We are doing things intuitively, feeling that we are guided for what is appropriate for us in this time of our lives. So basically, what we are exploring here is that we are looking at um, we are looking at what is essential for our evolution now. So there's the thing like what Paul said. Um, there's a lot of truth or there's um, to that effect. Um, all things are good, but not necessarily all things edify. Something to that. Um, to that effect. In essence, something may be good, something may be right, and nothing wrong with it. In fact, all things may be good, but it's that we need to be selective of what is appropriate for us at this time in our lives. And that's why we are doing this intuitively. So it's as if the process of what we are discovering is really something that is uh, it's a working within our lives right now. We are beginning to understand that, okay, we have learned certain things, but we do not have to be tied down to something that really seemed to have got us onto or we have got onto a standing stumbling block with it. So in essence, we have the um, opportunity and the guidance to look at it in another way. And that's what we are doing. So let's just add this up because we are looking at the number six and we are looking at the number six in terms of sacrifice. So we are adding this numerical values that we had for way, which is four. And we like the idea that way is giving us something like this. It's like the north, south, east, and west. I have done this if you check out my um, presentations on truth, truth to actualize in self love. So these are one, uh, my earlier presentations, but I believe that there is a lot um, conveyed in those um, perhaps about seven um, presentations around that. Then um, we have truth, of course, which we have said is 24 hours a day and everything 24 um, presents. We could also say that, of course, here we have with that too, 
uh, let's ensure. So it's reflective as well of two where Christ had the um, Last Supper here with the B, which is 13, as I have demonstrated. Again, you, if you go through my presentations with 13, the number 13, or Honey Bee, for instance, anything with Honey Bee will be ex, um, planetary on this or expounding on this um, two um, column here. Okay, and um, four, of course, we see here again, we have that way. Um, the number four reflecting here again. Now, breathe, we've touched on breathe. It's like we know what happens if we can't breathe. You know, we have a little, if we were to have a sinus or hay fever or something, we know what it's like, or a cold, we know what it's like not to be able to breathe well. So there we are, where Christ say, I am. So I am the way. Meaning the um, the four, the six, and the five. I am, in fact, we know that is I am all of those things anyway. But the I am, of course, we know um, is the word or the name that Christ, or oh, sorry, um, Moses was given on Mount Sinai when God said to him, I am that I am. When he asked of God, well, who should I say has been given me these um, commandments or whatever it was that the conversation, they were able to see each other, meaning, of course, Moses equals number eight. So there we were, when we understand, Moses said, oh, it is said that Moses saw God or oh, was able to see God and God said to take your feet, your shoes or your sandals because you are on holy ground. All of those, that conversation, it was all about the third eye because Moses equals eight and he was able to meet with God on that level. Okay, so um, this is my understanding. We are looking at numerical values and this is giving us another insight. It is not to take away anything else or any ideologies or understanding that other people have or you may have had. It is just another angle. It is perhaps saying, for instance, the glass of juice, uh, uh, an orange um glass of drink has just come to mind and whether it's an appropriate analogy or not, but that is what it is. Okay, you have been given or presented a glass, a glass of juice, of orange juice. So now we have looked at the color. We have looked at the um, nutritional value, if you like. We are looking at the full content. There is so many different aspects to that glass of juice. We are, or the level, or um, what it constitute, or how much sugar is entailed. There are so many different um, layers or aspects to how we can relate to this glass of juice. The temperature of that of that drink, or is it? pleasing? Is it tang tangy? Or is it, um, does it taste citrus? What is, does it taste acidic? What it means to you? So basically, we are looking at these um, scripture verses through numerology and seeing how we they can really serve us to become better versions and expressions of who we truly are. So I hope you love this um, or appreciate this um, um, presentation on the way, the truth and the light. Of course, we know the. And in fact, I just had this um, inclination to add, if we were to do all the other three sixes, that would be 18 for the, the word the, I am the way, the truth, and the light, you know, the life. I, I have been saying light for the longest. Of course, I came across the word life, which is really nice anyway. Light life. I just love it. So that's what we're about because we're about actualizing selfful love. Of course, love is light. And so we are trying to see the light in what we are doing, thinking and saying. I thank you. Oh, 
the on my timer is 24:30. I love it when those synchronicities happen. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for your time. I hope you have found this very useful. I hope you found it enlightening to some extent. If you enjoy this presentation, click the like button and share. Because this is how we do it. We share to actualize in soulful love. Stay blessed, stay bright, stay ignited, and be a field because we are now planting new seeds. Namaste. And spill over with love.